Good, you're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride. At her wedding. And they say romance is dead. Your target's name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go, and give the City of Solitude a celebration they're not likely to forget. When you kill, we all wield the blade.
to turn Uncle Rob here? Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Far you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother. Traitor! You betrayed us. Traitor. Ulfric Stormcloak escaped the city after he murdered Hiking Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He Traitor. doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder! Liar! If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink. You're not getting the best of your friends. No! No!
Where do you come from?
<laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an Emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Unfortunately, in your zeal, you failed to eliminate Vici while she addressed her guests as directed. I'm sorry. But your bonus is forfeit. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, triple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge, and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sippus. Once he's dead, Plant the incriminating letter on his body, and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge, or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Walk in Gaius Morrow. Huh? Yes, yes, I'm your brother, and I'm supposed to greet you respectfully, so... Hello!
Must be lost. The tavern is down the road a piece. Uh, oh, I can smell I can your smell blood. Smell your blood. Uh. And you 
thought I was just a pretty face. Let me do something. I'm going to enjoy it. And you thought I was just a pretty face. Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? Where'd you come from? Did you hear something? At last. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. And you've earned your payment, though the bonus is forfeit, as I'm sure you're aware. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. It's... Cicero. There's been an incident. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. Just try to relax, Bizarre. Let the elixir do its work. You'll feel it better, sure. We're back. Ah, Good. Thank you, you hear us. You are most kind. The jester's cut feels as bad as it looks, I'm afraid. Damn it. This never should have happened. We knew better. We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ugh. I'll admit, even I'm having a hard time disagreeing. Marrow is dead, I know, but we've got bigger problems right now. The fool went absolutely berserk. He wounded Vizara, tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. Oh, it's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little world. Slash this, like that. It would have been funny. Or trying to murder or something. Don't forget the ranting and raving. About the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood, and Astrid was just a pretender. Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. But first, find my husband. Make sure he's all right. After the attack, Onbjorn flew into a rage. When Cicero left, Onbjorn went after him. They disappeared into the wild. Search Cicero's room. Maybe there's something in there that sheds some light on where he might have gone. Let me know the minute you find something. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. Bested by a fool. Who's the fool now, hmm? Hush, Vizara. You were very brave. Ask her in the world of death, Dr. She's right.
Have you found something? Good, good. Does it say where he may be headed? The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's... one of us. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void, in as many pieces as possible. I took that prancing fool into my home, and this is how he repays me? Of the yard. Stop right there.
Should have figured Astrid would send you. Ugh, what gave it away? <laughs> yeah, gotta admit that little jester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry, I gave as good as I got. In there, through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would have followed him, but I don't know the phrase. All right, you convinced me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. The little fop cut me pretty deep. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood. Enjoy this. Not an original part of this actual. 
prefer to listen, eh? Of course, of course, the listener listens. <laughs> a joke, a funny joke. <laughs> I get it. Then listen to this. Don't kill me. Let poor Cicero live. I attacked this trumpet pastor, and I did. And I'd do it again. Anything for our mother? Return to the pretender. Tell her I'm dead. Tell her you strangled me with my own intestines. <laughs> but lie. Yes, lie. Lie and let me live. <sighs> Do what you will. Cicero has no fight left. In the end, Civis will judge us both. It's not great for my skin. Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. Until next time, brother. During the thunderstorm, eh? Uh, what can I say? It's the part of the Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. Quite so.
But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. You know, maybe I was wrong about you after all. Anyone who's smart enough to shut up and listen can't be all bad. In my, um, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the gourmet's cookbook. Uh, <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep in Markov. It would seem he's the cook. I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the gourmet, of course. But what's more, you need to get his writ of passage so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. Remember, the Markov Keep. That's where you'll find Anton Varan. Probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes, passing them off as his own. Anywhere, just out of this. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and your people. What say you in your defense? Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a Reachman. Who are you? What do you want? The... the Gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the Gourmet's identity to my grave. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagog Gronolo. He's an orc. 
The gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go, right? So, we're done? Whatever it is, I'm sure I can't be of help. I'm just here on holiday. Yes, well, perhaps someone else in the village can assist you. Please, you're starting to frighten me. What is it now?
fan of the sun. It would be better than this. So, the prodigal murderer returns. And the gourmet? Come now. Good, good. And you've got the writ of passage too, I see. So there's that. I also received word from Markov. It would seem Anton Varan has suffered an untimely fate as well. <laughs> good. But unfortunately, that inn is a buzz with the news of somebody killing one of their guests. What? Hiding the body was too much for you to handle? Bah! Useless. Here's your gold. Now go see Astrid. Time to move against the Emperor has finally come. Sithis help us all. So it's done. You've killed the Gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. <laughs> Look at you. So calm, so confident. I do believe you were born for this task. So let's begin. Go now to Castle Dower in Solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. Kill well, and often. Let's move faster. The sun is... Stop right there. Where'd you come from? Stop right there. Power is off limits until further notice. What's this now? Order of his eminence possesses these papers. Gourmet. By Osra. The Gourmet. I I'm sorry, I didn't realize. We had no idea. Well, well. Another bag of
Not another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over... The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... I... well, I just can't believe the gourmet is a dark elf. How difficult it must have been for you in Morrowind. The food there is... Oh, well, uh, actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. Hey, Adol! We'll begin as soon as you're wearing the hat. Check the shelf over there. Wouldn't want the Emperor mistaking you for someone else now, would we? We'll begin as soon as you're wearing the hat. Check the shelf over there. Wouldn't want the Emperor mistaking you for someone else now, would we? Absolutely brilliant. Now, now you're just as I imagined. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the Potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh... Which ingredient should I add next? Oh, I get it. This is a test, right? You want to see how well I know the potage le magnifique? Well then, I think a pinch of frost salt should do the trick, right? Now what? My choice then? Oh, very well, I think we should add some chorus eggs for additional flavor. Okay, uh... Let me see. Thistle, yes, uh, let's try that. Just a sprig or two. My choice? Hmm. All right then, tomatoes. Simple, yet infinitely flavorful. Don't you agree? Well, I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? Oh, what is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you.
Here we are. The priest and gods of the young office. We'll go in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be a maid. No assassination. Yes. An unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son. Oh, no. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. As I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous! Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... Sean. I think something's wrong. I... Sean. Oh. Well, I'm so 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 I